Here we will discuss about the tax rate which is applicable to individual or a So first, 1% uh, is up to 5 lakh. So if you are earning up to 5 lakh, then you have to pay 1%. That is uh, social security tax. But if you are married person, you can claim the benefit of couple return and the slab will increase up to 6 lakh. So up to 6 lakh, you have to pay only 1%. So 1% need not to pay if you are registered with social security fund SSA. Here comes next slab 10%. So if you, you your gross income or taxable income is uh, between 5 lakh to 7 lakh then you have to uh, pay 10% on any amount that is exceeding rupees 5 lakh. So next slab If your income exceeds 7 lakh and up to 10 lakh per individual, then you have to pay 20%. Similarly, if you are a couple, then uh, it's up to 11 lakh that you have to pay 20%. Anyways, uh, and next level is 30% for uh, your income up to 20 lakh. So if you are single, then on 10 lakh, you have to pay. 30% if you are couple then on 9 lakh you have to pay 30% and if you are earning above 20 lakh you have to pay 36% and anyway, who can claim uh, unmarried or married status or single or couple status so if you are married obviously you can claim couple return but uh, if both the husband and wife are working then you are not allowed to claim a coupled return and both the individual have to claim a single so here it is the summary uh, of the rates 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent and 36 percent so example the first example is your income annual income is uh, 8 lakh 50 thousand so if your taxable income i'm not uh, uh, using the directions here, uh, but if your taxable income is at like 50,000 So you have to pay 1% on first 5 lakh 10% on 2 lakh that is 20,000 and Next 3 lakh you have to pay 20% but your income is 8 lakh 50,000 so 8 lakh 50,000 minus 5 lakh minus 2 lakh that is 1 lakh 50 thousand on 1 lakh 50 thousand we have to pay 20 percent that is 30 thousand so uh, these slabs are not applicable to this individual so your total tax will be 55 thousand again if you are registered with social security fund this 5 thousand you don't have to pay this 5 thousand so your tax will be only 50 thousand sounds good so what are the deductions that are allowed by income tax? So deduction means the benefit you can claim in income tax. Your income will decrease by this amount. What are the amounts? First one is your contribution to CIT or provident fund or social security fund. So if you are contributing uh, to the retirement funds, then you can claim the benefit 3 lakh for CIT and FIA, 5 lakh for Social Security Fund. But but the maximum limit allowed here is 3 lakh or 5 lakh. Yadi tapai female uh, employee unhun cha bane, tapai ko income from salary matri cha bane, you can claim 10% rebate on tax amount, tax computation by sake pachi. Tax amount to 10% of the rebate claim. Gardens of Tunsa. This uh, medical expense ko lagi maximum 750. Tax ko amount but at the deduct Gardens of Tunsa. Here we'll discuss a case 
where uh, you are a female employee, single, and your monthly income is 80,000 and 4,000 uh, employer contribution to SSF. So your uh, annual salary becomes 960,000 and your annual SSF will become 48,000. Hence your annual income is 10 lakh 8,000. SSF contribution will be 48,000 from employer and 26,400 from employee. The total contribution will be 74,400. And you pay the annual life insurance of 50,000. The computation of income. So basic salary per annum two lakh forty thousand. Social security fund twenty percent forty eight thousand. Additional salary or whatever name you can give bonus or allowances or anything seven lakh twenty thousand. Hence the annual income ten lakh eight thousand. And social security fund contribution total employers plus employees 31 percent that is 74,400 and life insurance deduction so this is 40,000 maximum limit per annum actual amount is though 50,000 so you can only claim rupees 40,000 here so total deduction will be 114,400 now the taxable income is eight lakh nineteen three thousand and six hundred. So if you are going to compute tax on eight lakh ninety three thousand six hundred, uh, you don't have to pay one percent social security fund, social security tax as you are already registered in SSA. Now in turn two lakh you have to pay ten percent that is twenty thousand. And the remaining amount you have to pay 20% that is 38,720. Total tax is 58,720. And uh, you are a female employee and you can claim benefit of 10% that is 5872. Uh, no medical credit provided here. You can uh, claim up to 750 rupees. So net tax payable to the government is 52,848. So if you are deducting monthly TDS on this so monthly will be this amount divided by 12 that is 